Uh, I, you know what, I, I don't go down to Wexford a huge amount and, and I always always love it when I get down here. Oh, it's lovely. You, you've lived here all your life? Or? Yeah, all my life. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah rock and roll. From, from college and the stuff, only is, There's yeah. a lot of Wexford people down here, that's the only problem. Yeah, but, uh, that's yeah, the small yeah. disadvantage. That's just a little yeah, pullback. Yeah, but they all live in one area, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> now, we should say, with, with the beautiful Constance, I, I, she's a woman that fascinates me because here, a lot of people naturally would know, she, uh, 29th of May, 1884, she marries Oscar. About seven years later, you know, uh, after we've had two kids, yeah. shortly after the, the birth of her second son, Oscar's basically, you know, they're estranged sexually. She meets the good old Alfred Douglas. And there's always been a question mark, which is why it's so fascinating as to what exactly was known and, and when it was known. And I don't know for you if, there's, if, if this was a story that you were familiar with before, you, uh, Thomas's Kilroy's play, whether it's something you've explored deeper and... and well, there's been a huge amount of exploration with yeah. the play. Um, I first came across it when I was in drama college. So that was 15 years ago now, more, 16 years ago now. Um, but I was too young at that point to play it. So right. I kept it very close. <laughs> um, I was always a huge Oscar Wilde fan. And then my mom actually bought me um, the calendar for the Abbey. And there was a picture of the secret fall of Constance Wilde. Right. And I went and used my ESB money and I went and bought play and kept it and just loved it. And I just thought, I was, I've literally reached pretty much the age she is, ah, right. um, or she was when she passed away, so I thought I need to do it now. And I have two little boys, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I could, I could a access lot of... the emotion of it, but it is a fascinating story, and yeah. questions about when she knew, how she knew, why she knew, all of that are up here a little bit mm. as well, because obviously this is Thomas Kilroy's, you know, dramatic take on what happened. Um, there is, you know, it's not... It's not deep rooted in complete fact. There right. is, you know, there's a small bit of dramatic license. Yeah. Um, what we love particularly about the play is how, while it has a narrative and it has kind of a, you know, a linear narrative arc, it does have quite a nice Brechtian feel to it. In that yeah. we start at the end right. and then we end at the end. Nice. Um, so it's nicely framed. The audience are at all points realize they're in a play. So we kind of break the fourth wall, we have mute attendants that change the set, that kind of puppet us almost, um, that, that would kind of, you know, kind of give you the idea of fate and that sort, sort, of, right. sort of theme running through it. But that's what we loved about it, was that it wasn't just start to the start and work your way through. Um, you are very much given all of the characters' insights, but that's mostly kind of solidified by their relationships. And given that she herself published, I know it was just a children's stories yeah. heard from her grandmother mm -hmm. once they were in, in, in 1888. I mean, I don't know, I, I wouldn't know her that well. So was she, was this something that was kind of just sweet to do or, or would she had aspirations to be a, 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 a writer too? I think she wanted to better herself. Right. Um, and I think that was one of the, the areas that she kind of just veered towards. Now I okay. could be wrong, believe right. me, I'm no, I'm no constant <laughs> PhD student or anything, yeah. but, um, she did want to, she had aspirations for, right. her, for, for her own success. Um, they were very much um, a socialite couple. She was kind mm. of ahead of her time with fashion, you right. know, very much wanted to kind of, you know, host the societal dinners, societal lunches. Oh, like you, it's amazing, the similarities, oh, it's just exactly like you. <laughs> oh, mm, yes, juggling a dress, yeah. you know. <laughs> Well, yeah. well, well t I know too that that she was quite um quite a strong woman because once once this became, you know, her life that that here's Oscar is going to prison. She doesn't visit him very often. She 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 forces him to give up paternal rights yeah. and and she will only give him money and help him if he he doesn't associate with with so with Douglas anymore. So she was quite a strong woman. It wasn't like she she you know oh, would, no. would would roll over and say, yeah. well, oh this this is my and fate. That's very much something yeah. that I as an actress wanted to make sure that people knew was yeah. that she was not a pushover. Right. She was not subservient. I think she was a, a victim of the time in one way. I right. think if it had happened now, I just think society would have dictated it differently. Right. Um, she had to follow norms and rules of sure. them. Um, and it, within the play, um, Bosey, Alfred Douglas, yeah. kind of wants this, almost this, this triangle to just, look, I'll just do this. Right. And we'll just do this, and you just, you know, exist. And right. it'll all be together, and it'll be fine. And yeah. that's when she's like, no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry. Now, just in the L triangle. Yes, Doesn't work yes. For her. And, and he does refer to it as a triangle. Uh -huh. um, 
but it is, uh, it's just a fascinating story. And of course, the, 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 what, what happens too with stories like this is it throws up so many different kind of universal truths and, and questions as really opposed does. to, well, this is the one particular case. It just it echoes and echoes. And, and even within the Hollywood system now, the idea of the, the wife who's covering yeah. for her husband yeah. is, and yeah. the question marks over whether, oh, does she, uh, did she, was he in on it? Did she not know? And yeah. so it's, it is a kind of, um, not only is it universal, but it almost seems it, eternal it, because... It's quite timeless. Yeah. It is, definitely. Because society yeah. always has a certain amount of norms that you have to be Follow. seen to... Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Now, we should, we should check too, with, 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 she changed her name to Holland and she became, I, I guess, like in, in many ways, she, she just distanced herself from what she felt was... She moved was, abroad, yeah. so that helped. Yeah. That helped. Um, right. She went kind of between Switzerland, France, Italy, um, and then ended up in a hospital um, mm. in Italy, from what right. I can remember. Yeah. Um, and that's where she died. And would you have had... A, a, a chain, from that early experience of, of you know getting your ESB money and getting that I don't know whether your, your, your perception ever changed over the years whether by finding out more obviously becomes more complex but I don't know whether yeah. you, you, you had a different view of her as time went on um, yes it didn't alter my fascination with her right. or my how I empathised with her um, she I, I, I found I found I almost respected her more as I developed the character, as right. I, but they could have been based on my decisions. Right, um, right, right. But it was, it was, it was really interesting exploring her. And I suppose back then, oh, and it, I was, I was 20, you know, right, and, right. and you can't possibly before, Adam, you the, can't, you can't yeah. access that as, right. as a wife or even as a mother to be able to take that into this character, I think definitely helped. I suppose there's a laziness in all of us to want to kind of, you know, see a figure as either tragic or, or yeah. as, as heroic or, and yet, of course, all those things happen within the same life. Yes, you know, it's like any artist has, has moments of glory and moments of, 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 of falling course, flat in their face. Ebbs and flows. Yeah, yeah so absolutely. the life itself is not a simple, you know, fable of this is, you know, a lesson in how you live. This is no. the great complex. No, um, and she was quite ill, you know, right. she had, um, she had spinal issues, um, right. which is still not definitive as to what it was. Yeah. There's, a, there's a lot of theories that it was... Well, MS sort of was, was suggested too, it, that, that wasn't, there, yeah, yeah, was that wasn't prescribed properly. And, that, yeah, yeah. Um, and that it was trying to be solved that way. Um, right. So it, it's still not definitive. Yeah. Now, we should talk about your, your, your own fine work. Now, even though you're only like 21 or 22, 16 years ago, no, you started off... Yeah, yes. You started off... You studied music and drama at DIT. And, I did. And, uh, yeah. and then you, you, you kind of... You, what was wonderful, around the same time, you, you, like, you did Discovering Drama, your own school, which is yeah. around that year or year after. Yeah. And that's still going strong. Thank you just God. had a lovely yeah. weekend of, of, yeah. of uh, performances. But then you, you always sort of... You know, you went on and did more kind of study. And, and, and I know you yes. in 2014, you have Teaching Shakespeare. You got yes. the... Uh, yeah. And yeah. I would say, is it Lyciente? How do you pronounce it in My drama? Licentiate. yeah. That's the word yeah. in 2005. Uh, that was 2015. 15, yeah. yeah, I just had and baby. Hey, so that, that feeling of, of, I guess, you mean that, that hunger, that want to basically, you know, explore more, not just Absolutely. say, oh, I'm, I'm content now, I can just oh, sort no. of rest. So no. that, that's a kind of a, a, a wonderful thing to have in life. I but, love it. But uh, is it something that you can recognise was there right from the start? Did it grow into yeah. something? Yeah. Right. No, right. there was no denying what I was going yeah. to do when I, okay. was, when I was small, <laughs> unfortunately, my poor mother. But um, yeah, no, wanting to learn and wanting to learn more is something right. that I am quite passionate about in that the students that I have within the drama school, not demand it, but I, I want to deliver them the best yeah. product that I can. Right. And me knowing as much as I can is the only way for them to develop and flourish. And they really are my passion, my students. I just, uh, I love teaching drama, but to be able to act at the same time is definitely the best of both worlds. Yeah, well, you were telling me before the camera's roll, you love all of them except one, but you <laughs> one. I forget which one, you said the don't name, worry, but I forget, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that, that spark then, I don't know if that was a, a, a family thing or whether there was something out there, experience in school that just triggered this love that you realized, oh, this is a... Um, a ma my mom is an actress, ah, well locally, then, right, kind of right. an, on an amateur level. Um, so she was always acting. I went to drama from a very early age. Right. And I would have gone to rehearsal with her, kind of done her lines with her, prompted for plays. So it was part of the fabric. Right. And, and for me, as part of my teaching, it is the idea that you're part of a team, no matter what you're doing. So this weekend, we're doing an Egyptian play, and there's about 14 different 
Prince Tuts because there's right. a different one in each scene because I don't believe there should be one particular right. star and that it is about being part of a team and everyone feeling that their contribution is valued. Um, and my six years graduated this weekend and gave me a beautiful video hmm. and they reiterated that. And that's really nice when you hear that, that nice. it's come back. So I'm very blessed. I'm very lucky. And do, you, do your own children have any uh, choice in the matter when it comes to what they might want to do? Um, well, they're only four and two. Okay. Um, now, <laughs> the first one's going to school in September. He'll start drama, whether he wants to stay in drama is entirely right. up to him. I absolutely right. know. <laughs> I, I think he might have his father's wiring, which is engineering. So that's far okay. more sensible than this road. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Our friends who are actors, and it is a, it is a tough, you know, musician, actors, oh. any artist. It's, it's, a, so it's an unknown hard. all the time. Yeah. And even if you have like, you know, a great success within six months, it, yeah. it means Could little to, yeah, to the... Absolutely. I, mean, I don't know if that's been a struggle because the school would be a constant, which must be a great comfort and a great source of, you know, inspiration and, 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 and joy. But, but it's a tough life. I don't know whether that's always been the case for you that you you just don't have any doubts or whether there's times you think, maybe I should. It's funny. It's funny. I always said that... I, I don't think I was brave enough for what I call plan A, which was right. to go and just be a, just be an actor and Full go time, and try and, okay. and sort yeah. it. So I went to plan B and then it turns out that I absolutely adore plan B. <laughs> and now I'm getting to sort of do plan A as well. Right. And that's perfect for me. That's <laughs> yeah, just yeah, perfect. Nice. Like the drama school, I have 300 in the school. So it's kind of a full time, right. all day, every day sort of experience. But I am now getting to the point where I have some staff so for me to go and do a play, I can leave it in capable hands and know that they're teaching the way I want it to be taught and that it's still okay, you know, that I can go and kind of do whatever acting I want to do and then come back and the school is there. Have you become a mogul? Are you uh, one of those? <laughs> Did you ever smoke a cigar at any point? Or, or? I have a cigar from Cuba that I, was meant, that I was meant to smoke when I have my first child, but <laughs> I didn't do it. Well, your Wait for Broadway. Next time, yeah, Broadway, maybe, that'll be a maybe, good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I could get yeah. caught for some sort of illegal emissions. It's so old at this uh, point. <laughs> I think that would work, though. I think the idea that the older they are, I don't know, with cigars, okay. I presume they get. I presume, I don't know. Right, okay. Well, start outdoors before you bring yes, it indoors. Probably. Yeah, maybe that's And no yeah. children. There you go. 